Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to present the Thrive Public and Community Engagement Report from Macquarie University. And I'm going to present it together with my colleague, Dr. Imelda Namagembe. This is a presentation outline. I'll give you a bit about the background to community public engagement, our programs and objectives, our planned activities, progress against planned activities, some challenges we face, the way forward, and our collaborators. Public engagement is a core activity, and it's one of the objectives of the Thrive 2 grant. We want to implement public engagement in programs in Uganda, Kenya, and Tanzania that promote understanding of the value and use of science among several players, the lay public, policy makers, civil society, and secondary school students. These community engagement programs promote synergy enhance mutual beneficial relationships, and also promote exchanges between science, research, and innovation, all of which aid in the dissemination of research knowledge and its uptake. We have four strategic objectives. One, we want to advocate and mobilize resources for CPE, build capacity for community and public engagement, identify and create opportunities for interaction between scientists and an academic, and also advance the art of science and CPE. What are some of our planned activities? We are making strategic presentations at fora outside of Thrive. Here we've had a research enrichment um, community and research and enrichment for community and public engagement team, which has shared strategic information with the Ministry of Education officials during the orientation meetings. These orientation meetings were attended by directors, commissioners, and heads of departments, and they were organized to facilitate the process of seeking consent to operate in schools. We have had presentations at AGMs and other Thrive meetings by several fellows. We've also developed a web portal for research dissemination and feedback, and a needs assessment for CPE. We document our activities through activity reports monthly, and also we have activity-specific reports. We have had fellows making presentations at scientific meetings. We've also engaged um, schools, postdoctoral fellows and PhD fellows have engaged schools. I'll be giving some few examples later. We have a newsletter which is published once every quarter. And this highlights insights into fellows' research, experiences, and implementing activities. We also provide ongoing support to researchers in CPE. We are also planning to create teaching materials for short courses, develop curriculum, identify and map a Thrive Knowledge Assets Map, and also develop and adapt criteria for identifying actionable research. Our head, Dr. Daniel Semakula, can share more about these updates. This is one of the examples of our postdoc fellow, Dr. Mayer David, who had a community edutainment event on cryptococcal meningitis which was organized in Kamocha and was attended by approximately 200 community members. This activity facilitated the recruitment of participants into their ongoing studies, helped them identify what meningitis is, what's the importance of having a lumbar puncture. This is just one of the pictures showing that very successful event. I also had the pleasure to have a science raising awareness activity with one of our PhD fellows, Dr. Mongin, where we went to Mount St. Mary's College, Namagunga, we are taught to 352 students, 193 from Senior 3 and 153 from Senior 4, where we were trying to raise awareness about science. This was an interactive process. Almost 80% of the girls had interest in pursuing the field of science, and the majority wanted to be medical doctors, engineers. However, a few, for reasons known to themselves, wanted to be social scientists. I'll now call on my other co-presenter, Dr. Imelda, to go through the rest of the presentation. Uh, good morning to you. <coughs> good morning, everyone. Just to continue from what um, where my colleagues have talked, again, further on to get the experience. You know, this idea of uh, community and public engagement is, a, is like a new baby. 
uh, we are trying to appreciate our concept. So whatever we are presenting is still in the initial stages. I hope it will be much better as we move on. Um, we've had opportunities to engage the public. They can have a chance of uh, engaging Rotarians. Some of you may be Rotarians in here, but um, Rotary is one of the, the important people in our community who kind of uh, have an issue of trying to promote quality of lives. But apparently you realize that at least they may not know what is happening. So in this case, I try to engage them on what they are could be regarding preventing maternal death and appreciating the issue of maternal and predatory death surveillance and risk and trying to get them on board to see how we can enter those communities better with them on board. And then again, um, there have been other activities like uh, at the UVRI, maybe the colleague for UVRI will present further, when they had engagement with the students, students and teachers from secondary schools and higher institutions. And again, um, during these activities, fellows have usually received uh, good feedback from the students, showing that some of the students really gain um, understanding of some of the science issues we are talking about, and even they gain interest and they gain confidence about talking um, we're talking about some of the science issues. We've had an opportunity regarding the Makere side, where 22 the fellows and the, um, both doctoral and the uh, PhD and doctoral fellows have had the chance of engaging uh, students from 22 schools, whereby more than a thousand students have had interaction with these fellows. These are just some of the pictorials to depict what happened during those days. Um, the first one, Peace, Beloved, and Martin. Uh, after doing a joint engagement at St. Elizabeth in Kowe, one of our um, mixed schools in, um, in a very urban setting. And then uh, you know that the other corner, one of the engagements still, and that is peace at the extreme right. And then you know that he had just on the day when the Rotarians were engaged. Um, when we look at the issues regarding progress against the planned activities, there is rollout going on and implementation of the research and enrichment community public engagement project. I think we'll hear more about that as we move on. And there's been identification and engagement of uh, potential collaborators, where in this case the Thrive Team held an orientation meeting and is planned to have a memorandum of understanding signed. And then later on, we'll, there will be issues of sharing the terms of reference and the review and further inputs going on. On the issue of baseline service for community public engagement and the research enrichment um, project, um, data tools have been designed and they've been shared with some of the, the fellows. But as I say, the fellows are still trying to understand to see how best to ensure that this aspect of the CPE <coughs> is really well appreciated and integrated within the individual researches. Um, when you look at uh, what has happened so far, again, it may be highlighted further, but um, there was a meeting on the 29th and 20th, again, trying to understand the issue related to the research enrichment project regarding community and the uh, public engagement. And at that inception, there have been also a um, project inception meeting, which was attended by various leaders, supervisors, research fellows and the community public engagement leads, the project consultant and the secretariat. And then, again, partners have shared institutional plans and um, the process basically being guided by a technical person to see that this is well understood and appreciated so that there's ownership to see that it continues to grow. Um, some of the challenges that have been encountered we realize that has already stated that this is a new concept and um, at various levels, the supervisors and institutions have found some challenges, but all the same, there are efforts to ensure that we understand it well and continue to implement it properly. And um, uh, the ethical approval has been worked on, although it took much longer than had been anticipated, and there's a process of trying to identify collaborators from various levels, including those in order to bring up the issue related to the human centered design. But there are still some challenges, but I believe as we continue to discuss, these will be overcome. We'll get a solution to that. Again, we 
regarding the way forward, the issue of engaging media, you know, on the international arena, there are issues that how do we, how do scientists communicate to the rest of the public so that we can be able to transform the results from science in two aspects which can be lead to better development or improved communities. And again, there's also scale up regarding policy engagement and activities with various fellows and um, other issues that have happened like um, getting getting the Ministry of Education and the, the Council, the issue of signing MOUs, and of course the other aspect of rolling out. So these are some of the people and the partnerships that have been going on. Otherwise, we'd like to thank all organizations that are supporting us. Um,